In this tutorial, you will see how to use DLeaker in order to find and fix memory and GDI leaks. DLeaker can work as a standalone application and also can be integrated with Visual Studio. Let's look how DLeaker works in Visual Studio, helping detect different kinds of leaks. Run the installer. Visual Studio 2019 is installed on the machine. DLeaker is ready to be integrated with Visual Studio. Let's wait while files are being copied. DLeaker is being registered in Visual Studio. Run Visual Studio. Let's create a new console project. Type its name. The project is being created. OK, the project is loaded. It's a sample console application that prints, Hello World. Let's add a leak. It's important to make sure that the leaker is enabled. Click to Extensions, the leaker. Click to enable the leaker. Start debugging. The process exits, and the leaker starts taking a snapshot that contains leaks. Great, the leaker has shown the leak. Complete information including leak type, size, module, and, of course, source file and line is shown. Also, you can review the call stack. Right-click and select Show Source Code to navigate to source code where the leak has been detected. Source code is opened in Visual Studio, and the cursor is at the correct line so you can fix the leak right now. Now let's look how the leaker can help to fix permanent leakage. Create a new MFC project this time. Type some project name. Select Dialog Based as Application Type. Click to Finish. The project is being created. In this sample, we add a button. Each time the button is clicked on, memory and a GDI leak occur. Let's open Resource Editor. Drop a button to the dialog. Add a memory leak. Add a GDI leak.
The code is ready. Start debugging. The dialog is shown. Click the button several times. Close the application. A snapshot is being prepared. Two leaks are shown as expected. Information about source code. Leak types heap memory, and GDI object. Let's navigate to source code. Hit count shows the number of leaks that share the same call stack. Now let's look at how to compare snapshots to fix permanent leakage quickly. Again, click the button several times. Don't close the application. Switch to the leaker and click to Take Snapshot. Allocations are shown. Return to the application and click the button once again to produce some more leaks. Take another snapshot. Click to Compare With and select the first snapshot. Often you need to know what leaks are accumulated. Using snapshot comparison, you can rapidly find such leaks. Developers say that the leaker is the fastest way to detect leakages, not only memory leaks, but also GDI ones, leaks of handles, and other resources. Integration with Visual Studio helps developers locate and fix leaks without leaving their favorite IDE. Happy coding!